Hi, my name is Paige McCaffrey. I can be reached at 978-427-2842. I attend Billerica Memorial High School and I plan to pursue an education at Lycoming College in Pennsylvania. I plan to double major in corporate communications and theater. For the minors, I'm not exactly sure which ones I want to do yet. I have a lot that I want to do, but I I think for now that I would like to stick with a minor in psychology and photography. It could change depending on where my interests lie and just the amount of time that passes and see how busy I am because I feel like I will be very busy. For the first question, what are three words that you think would best describe you to a person that you just met? I would say, and I'm not very good at describing myself, but I would say dedicated because I have been doing theater and violin for nine, almost nine years now and it's, it takes a lot of dedication and practice to stick with it. Um, I would say I'm, I would say I'm driven as well because it takes a lot of drive to be and to try and be successful in your early education and post secondary education career. And I think I've really enjoyed my school process so far so I feel like I'm a very driven person and I, I, I really do want to succeed after I graduate high school and after I graduate college. And for the third word, I think I would choose silly. I, I would like to think. I, I consider myself a fairly laid-back person and I like to think I have a good sense of humor so I'd say silly might be a good word to describe me. And I do have the questions like right above just so I can see them. For the second question, what age did you get involved with theater and why? I got involved in theater, I believe it was in sixth grade, however many years ago that was. I got involved because I didn't really feel like I, I didn't feel like I, I fit anywhere, really. I was popping around from sport to sport to sport because that's what everybody was doing, I felt like, oh, sports should be what I should be doing. Um, no. <laughs> uh, one day, a little sixth grade me was walking in the hallway and I saw a Lion King Jr. poster audition form. And I was like, oh, that sounds really cool. Maybe I should do it. And here I am now. I have not, I have not not done a show ever since then. And I've really just, I fell in love with theater from a very, very young age. And I feel like it's just been so super fun and amazing. For the third question, out of all the roles you played, what was your favorite and why? In, oh, what was it? It was only last year, actually. I played Aunt March in my school's production of Little Woman. And it was like my first, like, I don't want to say meaty, but like kind of meaty role. Um, and first of all, I didn't think that I was going to get casted in such a small cast show, but I feel like it was such a push and it was a good push that I needed. I'm obviously, I was a 17 year old at the time. I didn't know how to play a 60 something year old woman, especially for like the time period that Little Woman is placed in. And it just, she's a very sassy character and she's just, she's the matron of the house. And I feel like that was such an amazing and fun role to play, just to like be able to step out of how I usually act and present something a little bit more mature and I feel like that was just a really fun and amazing push that I feel like I definitely needed and it definitely developed my sense of character development and how I look and approach at characters before I go on stage and I think it was a really fun role to play and I think the people around me really enjoyed it as well. For the next question, what do you like best about being involved in theater? I think Really, it's the community that makes it for me. I'm very fortunate to have such amazing directors and castmates that surround us all the time, but it's like one big family. Like it's a, a huge family and we're so supportive of each other. And I feel like that's a really special thing. And like, especially in such a polarizing world that we live in now, being able to just go somewhere after school and being like, wow, these are my people. And these people love me and support me. And it's the same it's just it's amazing and I feel like we all respect each other on such a deep level that we're just like we're like a mini family and I think that's really cool and we all kind of fit together with our individuality and our own little separate little quirks and stuff and I feel like we're all so different from each other that we really 
we really work together and it's just, it's really fun. For the next question, 10 years from now, what would you imagine, sorry, what do you imagine your relationship with the world of theater will be? I would love, I would love to pursue the possibility of being on a touring cast of some, some musical, some show. Um, but even if that, obviously that's like a dream of mine, but if that doesn't happen, I am perfectly okay with like doing community theater, with helping with community theater, not necessarily being on the stage, but even just helping with theater, I feel like would be a really, really good thing for me. I, I couldn't imagine my life without theater, so I plan to be very close with my local theaters wherever I may end up um, because I kind of, I just, I love theater no matter where it's at and I just, I want to be close with it throughout my entire life. Besides theater, tell us about something else that you are passionate about. Now this is very weird, but I love typing tests. I'm very passionate about typing tests, which I think is the quirkiest thing about me and it's definitely the weirdest thing about me. Um, it's just, I. I can't even tell you how many typing tests I've taken. It's over, I believe it's over 3,000 at this point. And I I think I love it so much because I could, I can steadily see my progress and I can see it like kind of increase, even though it doesn't feel like it at the time. Like, oh, I started at like 50 words per minute and now I'm up to like, up, I'm averaging at about 100 words per minute. And I think that's, I think that's really cool. And I think that's really quirky and I think, I think it's definitely the weirdest thing about me, but I think I am a little bit kind of passionate about it in a very weird and not normal way, but I really love it. And then when it comes to the foundation, this foundation, I love, I love being a part of foundations and like researching foundations that always strive to help people who want to do theater and would love to be a part of theater even if they don't necessarily have the resources for it. I know personally, like, I'm obviously, I'm very fortunate to have an amazing high school that has very, quite honestly, high budget shows, but I know that that's not the same for every other high school that you'll come across. You have some high schools that don't even have a theater department. And I feel like a foundation that really gears itself towards getting kids involved in theater or the arts is such an amazing resource. And I feel like it's, I love the possibility of networking with a bunch of people. And I just think it's a, it would be a really good resource to have. So that is my two cents. So thank you for watching. <laughs>